Tank Man. You've heard of Batman, Superman, Ant-Man, Spider-Man, Iron Man, and several other mythical superheroes who have appeared in popular culture for almost a century now. They began their lives as comic book heroes and went on to great acclaim at the Hollywood box office. Each in their own way are principal folks who fight for truth, justice, and the American way. But uh, none of them are real. Tank Man, on the other hand, he's for real. But nobody knows who the heck he is. We don't even know if he's still alive. And strangely, Tank Man, if he is still alive, probably has no idea what an impact his example has had around the world as an exemplar for peace. Who is Tank Man? The story around Tank Man, why it happened, and what really happened outside of the short bit of video that survives, are one of those things surrounded by competing arguments, claims, accusations, and controversy. But here, as clearly as I can sort it out, is pretty much everything there is to know about this unknown icon, hero, and man who showed boldness and nobility. In 1989, China was experiencing a rather strong push for self-determination by many of its people, mostly college students and young people. The whole of the country was in the throes of protest against the Communist Party. The oppressive and authoritarian government was countering this movement and the protests by placing armed soldiers on overpasses, keeping truckloads of troops on patrol in any place where some act of defiance might appear, and mercilessly shutting down any disturbance with brutality. Much of the hopeful effort of those petitioning for freedom began to focus in Beijing, as the communists had silenced the rest of the country. And just as in the rest of the country, the people had been driven back with force, even with firearms, by the People's Liberation Army, or PLA. Many arrests were made, many were beaten, many were slaughtered, and many just vanished. Many who tried to render aid to those who were struck by gunfire were themselves killed. And some parents, just looking to find and remove their children from the ruckus, were also shot. Five minutes. By June 4th, 1989, the PLA had full control of Beijing and had surrounded the protesters in Tiananmen Square, which is located between the Forbidden City and the Mount Memorial Hall and bordered on either side by the Great Hall of the People and the National Museum of China and the China Hotel nearby. Hundreds and even thousands were trapped with no way out. On the morning of June 5th, an extraordinary event occurred. As a long line of Chinese tanks began to enter the square, a lone man wearing a white shirt and dark trousers and carrying what appeared to be a couple of shopping bags walked calmly onto the street and he stoically positioned himself in front of the lead tank and just stood there. The tank stopped as he stood motionless blocking its path along with the entire column. The tank repositioned to get around the man. The man again moved directly in front of the tank and again the tank stopped. The same pattern was repeated a few times until this lead tank and the column behind just stopped. And with this, the man climbed up onto the tank he'd been obstructing and spoke with the soldiers. No one is revealing what was said. For the moment, Tank Man was the winner of this rather high-stakes game of chicken. Can you imagine the driver of the tank trying to follow orders, but not run over this seemingly innocent, unarmed man? While wondering what might happen to him if he didn't just move forward regardless of the obstacle, human or not. Within a few moments, the scene was rushed by a few of the protesters. At least that's what they looked like. 
For all we know, they may have been undercover police. Take Man was pulled away, and out of the view of the cameras. If they were friends, they wanted to protect him. They didn't want this brave man to be identified and then just end up disappearing. And if it was undercover cops, well, nobody really knows what became of him. Why didn't they just kill him and move on like they had everywhere else? Who was he? A bold but very lucky Chinese citizen? A stooge in an awkward propaganda play? An angel? Many have speculated, but no one who really knows will answer that question. This remarkable one-man act of defiance lasted about five minutes. The whole encounter was observed and captured on video and camera stills by several foreign journalists and photographers staying in the Beijing Hotel as they timidly peeked out of the windows of their rooms. Otherwise, no one outside the square would have even known it happened. The Chinese state media did briefly mention a local scoundrel who had foolishly interfered with the advance of the PLA and praised the military for its show of restraint in dealing with him. As in, no, we aren't hurting anyone. The Communist Party are just trying to restore order. We're doing it peacefully and kindly. Eh. Still, a mystery. The Chinese government admits no knowledge of Tank Man, other than a brief mention during an interview with Barbara Walters about a year later. There's nothing much said about him. Walters directly asked Zhang Zemin, the CCP general secretary, what became of him, Tank Man. His answer was that he could not confirm whether this young man was arrested or not, but that Zhang believed the man was never killed. From the images we do have available, Tank Man appears to be real, but anonymous and somewhat spontaneous, uh, a superhero who chose to put himself at risk to peacefully defend, well, truth and justice. His actions, at least for a moment, stopped the brutality and saved many lives. Shortly after this singular spectacle, the foreign journalists were sent packing and within a day or two, Tiananmen Square was quiet again. The thousands of protesters were gone, in many cases never to be seen again. But where they went, no one is sure. After that, officially, everything went on in about the same way as always, at least as far as anyone was willing to say out loud. So, here's the outs. Take man held off an entire army, at least for a moment. He had no weapon to defend himself or attack anyone with. Life went on in China with no acknowledgement of his bravery or that anything ever happened. And he has gained nothing for himself. He probably isn't even aware, as we had said, that the whole world knows of Tank Man. So what did he even accomplish other than putting his life at risk? What China labeled the actions of a lone scoundrel, the rest of the world has seen. Tank Man has become an icon of what one committed man can do and an example of courage for the whole world. And that's it, an ounce submitted for your consideration. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any comments or ideas, we'd love to hear from you. And if you are willing to listen, take a moment subscribe, hit that notification bell, give us a like, a thumbs up. It would help. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks.